a very big hi to all of you i hope you have understood this chapter through the prescribed video this is the analysis video of chapter 3 how the state government works what will i learn is in this chapter objectives gain a sense in the nature of decision making within a state government understand the extent of power and authority exercised by the state government over people's lives get a critical sense of the politics underlying the provision of services or the distribution of resources overview government in india works at the national state and local levels every state has a legislative assembly and it comprises of democratically elected mlas from different constituencies the political party or parties whose candidates win more than half of the constituencies nominate the chief minister and other other ministers from the mlas and the remaining parties are together known as the opposition the chief minister and other ministers with the approval of the legislative assembly make new laws and resolve the state's issues member of legislative assembly every state is divided into constituencies and the number of constituencies change according to the sizes and population of the states people from each constituency elect their representative through voting and those elected representatives are called members of legislative assembly mla mlas come from different political parties and there is one legislative assembly in every state the political party or coalition party whose mlas have more than half the number of constituencies in a state is known as the majority or ruling party and all the other parties together are called the opposition parties thank you